Hey guys, Rick with CMYBeach.com. I'm here today with Laura. What's up, Laura? Hey, Rick. Hey, long girl. Long time no see. I know. How long has it been since we hung out? Oh my goodness. I think it's been about a year since yeah. Canada Fest. Canada Fest. Right before all this craziness happened? Yeah. That yes. was like the last big thing I remember attending and well, filming. <laughs> yep, exactly. You were our host for that. You did a great job. We're on our Thank way to a different type of adventure today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you excited about this? This has been something I've been looking forward to almost all my life. Oh, wow. Tell everybody where we're going. We are going on a monkey adventure. We are uh, visiting the legend, the real legend of the Dania Beach monkeys. They've been here all my life. I don't know exactly wh why they're here, but I've got friends that seem, have seen them running across roads here and there, out in the woods, and we got a special invite from the head doctor on the conservation project, right? Missy? Right, Missy. Missy. And so Missy's invited us along to check out her monkeys. This is ex exclusive access, and she said we could use that term because no one else can go in like this. Yes, so unfortunately, most of our videos are usually about places we want you to go um, until they've got you know some significant changes, which we're working on. Um, you won't be able to visit this place, but you'll be able to see firsthand um, up close and personal with us. We're going to take them on kind of an in-depth, they've had a few news crews in here, but they've never had anyone come in and spend a good bit of time. We're yeah. going to spend a good bit of time. I'm ready for my close-up. You ready for the close-up? All right. For sure. All right, Laura. Well, let's go, let's go do it. We're, next stop is where we can't tell you where we are, yes. but it's going to be fun. Secret. You can watch the video and you can experience it. Next best thing to being there. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> smiling, but you can't tell. <laughs> smiling big. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. Maybe. We got a good crew today. Hey, this is Laura with SeeMyBeach.com and we are out here on a glorious Saturday afternoon with Dr. Missy Williams, uh, the head of the Dania Beach for Event Project, her associate Erin, and a wonderful photographer from Fort Lauderdale, Brooke Trace. Missy, can you tell us a little bit about where we are right now? Yep, this is part of our 12 acres that we lease. Uh, it's part of the Danube Beach Vervet Project, and we'd like to promote uh, awareness to the community about the monkeys here. And one of the priorities is providing conservation and animal welfare for the animals. Excellent. About how many monkeys are there here in Danube? There are approximately 40 monkeys. 40 monkeys. Right, yep. So yep. they do exist. Yeah, <laughs> different social groups. You know, they have different social groups, but if you added that, social group number uh, of individuals would be about 40. Okay. How many groups? There are four social groups. So this is one of the largest. So there's two large ones and the other ones are very small by comparison. So we would say less than, probably the next group down would be about eight individuals and we do have a group of two. Eric, tell everybody what you do here. So I help manage the site here. Um, I come and I do counts. So I count all the monkeys. We uh, name them individually. Uh, I do pathology reports, so I look for any wounds or anything like that that I find on the monkeys. And then we have uh, camera traps set up sporadically throughout the, the forest back here. And a camera trap is like a boxy little camera you set up on a tree. And I will go around and I'll check those, collect the data uh, from those, and uh, put them on an Excel sheet. Thank you. Nice, that's awesome. Brooke, tell everybody what you do quickly because you know, you're know a photographer, artist, all that kind of stuff. I'm with North Beach Art Gallery and I'm here to help document and support this organization. I like to be involved mm -hmm. with the community, love our animals and protecting them whether they be pets or wildlife. Gotcha. Sorry about that little camera movement. I just thought, felt something on my leg again. <laughs> There's bugs and all kinds of crazy things out here. Well, y'all be like, snake! No, yeah, snake. exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm more scared of spiders, I think, than anything. That's so, yeah, a lot of people don't like spiders. Yes. Yep, do not like spiders. Yeah, you'll walk right into them here and you're just like, oh my god. I know. Great orb weavers back here. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. 
She told me you were going to remove the spider webs before we got here. This is very unfair. You know, I, I, walk, I try to walk through as many as I can when I arrive. But... That's what I'll do is I'll just have Aaron walk in the path I want to go. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let's go around and explore and get, get some photos and yes. interact with these little guys. Absolutely. Sounds they've been great. People probably can't see, but they've been mulling all around. There's one right over there. Yeah. There's some over here. They're all around us right now as yeah, we're talking. Yeah. Let's go explore. All righty. There on your left, and she's like an old female. Yep. Okay. And then to her left, tucked over there, is Mama. Yeah. So they are the two older females in the group. Very, very easily, at least 15 years old. Wow. Yeah. And the average lifespan for a vervet is 20, 25 years. So the infants that you see, that you see running around, they should be alive for their 20, 25 years. So that's why we think it's so important to provide some kind of sanctuary or welfare for the animals because they are long lived. And they, they get into trouble sometimes when they need some help. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like this people. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so ultimately, uh, what is your initiative? What are you trying to achieve here? I, well, because of their non-native status, it's difficult to get any medical care for them. So for example, if one of these animals was injured and it did need to see a vet, we could get vet care, but the animal couldn't be released back into its social group. So typically the animals go to a permitted facility, but those people typically engage in exotic pet breeding. And I just don't think that would be fair for a wild monkey to be put into a captive setting and then used for, for profit. Right. So not. our goal is to hopefully raise enough money to buy land and have a nice sanctuary where it's big enough that they don't know that they're enclosed so they can do what they're doing now, walking around freely foraging. And then also we would be allowed to come in and provide vet care uh, as needed, and we could release them right back because it would be a sanctuary set. Alrighty, so the goal Fantastic. is to create a sanctuary for these monkeys here. So people watch, there's plenty of people watching our stuff that has a lot of money. This is a good place to give some of that to. Yeah, yeah, for okay. example, last week we lost one to electrocution. Yeah. So, Terrible. and this is, I think, either the sixth or seventh animal that's been electrocuted, and only two of those um, electric, electrocuted monkeys have survived. Oh, terrible. Yeah, so it would be great just to have a space to get them care, provide for them, and let them live their lives. Gotcha. Too many inter intervention. That's awesome. They're all huddling up right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Let me get over here. Over there. Oh, Come over here, guys. The little ones never let the big ones sleep. No. Welcome to Parenthood. Oh, there's not one over there. They're so cute. They're so funny, right? All right. So this is our snapping friend, uh, snapping turtle friend. We nicknamed him or her. We call him Toby. Toby, cute. And uh, there's several here in this canal. But this one is always out and doesn't really seem to mind us standing around or That's watching awesome. him. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, who are they now? This is Amy. Amy? Yes, and her little one is the one right between the two trees there. That's Higgins. Higgins. Yes. Oh, spider web, spider web. <laughs> Spider, a little snack. Taking <laughs> size snack. Rick, here's one over here. Some over here too. There's okay. three. One coming across. Oh, there's a bunch of them are coming across now. Cool. Yeah, here we go. One up here. Oh, he's peeing. Oh. Let's give him some space. Hi. Uh oh, he's mad. He's mad. He's got something to say. Why can't we be friends? Hello. <laughs> he almost went on you, Bolero. All right. Yeah, I thought he was really like coming to make his move. Okay. Okay, I see him. Yeah. There's the little raccoon. Oh. Where's the raccoon? Right here. I don't see him. Making his baby up. He's making his way back to the water. Mm-hmm. As a Dania Beach native, I have heard tons of rumors flying around Dania Beach about where these monkeys came from. So tell us a little bit about the story. Yeah, I had the same question when I first started and I did lots of research and it turns out the monkeys escaped from something called the Dania Chimpanzee Farm. And it was opened by Layla Roosevelt and they were importing primates in for biomedical use and also at the same time to provide entertainment as a zoo place. So uh, around 1948 or 1949, 50 escaped. And they got all of them back, but 12 to 15. So the individuals that you see around here today descended from that group of escapees. Oh, the renegades. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm awesome. glad they escaped. Yeah, they got out, yeah. It's awesome. But, yeah, and they're, I, they guess they're pretty happy here in Dania Beach. They have not migrated to other areas. No, no. The population isn't growing. So in 1992, a study was done and he counted 36 individuals. And then in January of 2014, we counted 36 individuals. Okay. Awesome. So they're not... They're yeah. not becoming a thing. So it seems like they're they're not necessarily thriving here, but they're just sustaining here in Dania Beach. Why is that? Uh, we've been looking at that from the research, and we really think uh, people do probably trap them. Uh, we've heard rumors of people taking them for the pets. And also, this is a monotypic habitat, so there really isn't a lot of variety of food. So that could be limiting some of their reproductive success. Got it. Okay. Interesting. 
interesting. Over here visiting Aaron at one of his camera traps. What's up? Can you tell me a little bit about what these do. Yeah, so this is kind of like a temperature sensor camera. So when it senses a change in temperature in front of it, it'll go off. So let's say a monkey's walking in front of it, it'll sense that and it'll start recording 30 second videos of what, you know, okay. of whatever that monkey's doing. So kind of like how my ring camera has a people only mode? Yep, it's a little bit like a ring camera, yeah. Cool. So I can set the sensitivity to like medium, low, or high, and then it kind of goes off that. So if it's on high, it's going to sense like an ant walking through or something like that. So oh, yeah, so they're really nice. sensitive. <laughs> um, so here what I do is I'll like take out the SD card and I'll upload whatever I find and then I put in a new SD card and then I just have like... <laughs> this really is extreme like... filming. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm you're trying... like totally in the mud right <laughs> Sorry, now. Sorry, but I'm like trying to stand here. For... This is extreme filming people. So if you ever see, see the camera work, this is shocking that I maybe got it pointed the right direction with what's going on. I got him out in the Afraid woods with spiders. Afraid of bugs, with spiders, <laughs> exactly. I keep myself up right out here sometimes. <laughs> exactly. So. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like sinking in on one side. All right, go ahead. Sorry, Sorry Aaron. You're good. So I'll um, take notes and this looks like a mess, but I'll clean it up and it looks much more formal on a computer. Right. And then we'll you know, let's say three months down the road, we're gonna look back and say, what camera trap was that? What SD card was that? Who was that? We can look back into the notes we put on, like an Excel sheet, and then it helps us keep it helps keep us more organized. So. So what's the craziest thing one of these cameras has picked up so oh far? Oh my gosh. So for this one, if you look here, it kind of has like a red light blinking on the camera. And for this like brand of cameras, I guess they um, they do that when they're like ready to record or they're recording. And like the monkeys will see that red light and think like, what is that? Is that the treat or, you know, oh. you know, like a mangrove pot or something? Yeah. And they'll like run over to it and they'll like, I've had like monkeys like go right up to the camera and like snip it or something. So I think it's like a piece Cute. of ranch like for food or whatever. Yeah. So I think that's definitely the funniest. I have um, plenty of pictures of that and it makes my day. <laughs> well, these monkeys have definitely made my day. Yeah. Best day ever. This has been a fun adventure. Absolutely. I love coming out here. This is my Zen garden. When we finally got the sanctuary built, I would love to be put on the list of volunteers. Hey, we're happy to recruit. We're always looking for people. So <laughs> they're gonna need a cameraman. Laura's gotta have a cameraman, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You're hired. <laughs> All right. Exactly. I'm cheap labor. <laughs> exactly. Well, you already have experience in the mud. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Never thought I'd have a pair of these boots. I had to go buy new boot things to come out here. Because <laughs> see, my beach, we don't have a lot of these things, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah, you got those already, huh? Yeah. Those are cute. Mom. Mom. Nice. <laughs> well, you look kind of cute for being out here in this. Yeah, not so bad. Yeah. Cause I, like, I like the jungle. I always tell her before, you know, I'm like, look cute. That's my thing. Yes. We want our girls to look good. <laughs> and I t this time I was like, uh, you know, you don't have to look cute this time. <laughs> You still bought it a little bit there. Good. Cool, cool. I will get such weird looks sometimes going to Publix or whatever, and I'll like forget my pants get all muddy. I'll like walk in there like muddy pants, or like I'll like go and like go pick up food, and I forget I like smell like swamp water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's looking at you in the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> nice. But you can say, I've been playing with monkeys all day, and you haven't. <laughs> this one here is Snow White? Yep. Yep, she's Snow the White. Uh, alpha female. Alpha female, I like her already. <laughs> She's not interested. <laughs> Maybe if it was a male monkey. Maybe. <laughs> Where's the male monkeys at? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna let this branch go. Careful. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> Here's a little one. Hi, little guy. So. You might not be able to tell, but he's about the size of a really big squirrel. 
Mm -hmm. And their tail is about, you know, two feet long. Starting to learn them by name. <laughs> <laughs> They're your buddies now. Friends. Got another little one here. Yeah, see here. here. He's coming close. <laughs> We're closing up shop today. Dr. Missy, I want to thank you so much for inviting us to your special sanctuary you have here. Thank you. For I coming. know that there are plans in the future to have an actual enclosure for these monkeys. And I hope today this video helps you raise awareness in the community so that that becomes a reality even sooner. Yeah, thank you guys for coming out. I'm glad the monkeys were out and uh, we're excellent hosts for you guys as well. So thank you for having us. And just as a friendly reminder, we are on private property and uh, there is no trespassing allowed. So people are always tempted to come see the monkeys when they see videos or hear them, hear about them. But uh, this is a, a spot that we've reserved specifically through our nonprofit and it is uh, no trespassing. And Brooke, you've got some amazing shots today. Where can we find those? I'm going to post them on Fine Art America so we can raise some money for the project to support them. Is there a direct link to that from your website or where, where would they yes, find there it? there is. Okay, perfect. And we're also in a few days going to have a shop tab that you will be able to purchase um, a lot of goods that show up in our videos here at See My Beach. So make sure you check that out as well. And Aaron, how was your day today? Oh, I love coming out here, yes. <laughs> Me too. I think they, I'm going to be first on their list of volunteers when mm -hmm. this happens. Yes, yes, yes. And the volunteers are always really important too because they um, help us do our counts as well. And we want to keep our monkeys all together. Um, unfortunately, they do get trapped um, from people if they kind of disperse from uh, this land here. Um, to, so to people want to take them as their pets. Yeah, so people want to take you know the infants as their pets and things like that. So we try to we just want you know we want to keep them together. Um, you know the kennels are riddled with you know overrun with dogs and cats. You know it's more important to get a dog and a cat as a pet rather than the wild animal. So. Yeah, they don't Absolutely. do well in captivity. Dogs. They don't right monkeys don't do well in captivity. Mm -hmm. I've taken care of them at the zoo. They're very hard to take care of, so. <laughs> they're expensive. Simple. People don't calculate yeah. how expensive it is to have an exotic pet, and they yeah. require lots of space. And then when they do reach sexual maturity, that cuteness wears off really quick. And then <laughs> you will find a lot of these animals will end up in a sanctuary because people can't take care of them anymore. Yeah. So they look cute, but they're definitely not pets. Right. So sad. Yeah. Well, anyway, again, thank you so much, Dr. Missy, Aaron. Air high five, everybody. Okay, Thank you guys Air high five. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Aaron, man, for your insight and everything. And Brooke.
I asked Brooke to come out here because I knew she'd get great shots for yes, you and help me make some money. Thank you guys so much. Laura, as always, hey, we're back in business, girl. Yeah. This is the first video we've done in a year well, since it's Snowbird's Nook. Trump this one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is uh, this is a bit, yeah. We started off way too high. Our start, <laughs> our start level, everything will be downhill from here. Aww, the monkeys, yeah, they're on my bar. You guys are welcome to come yeah. back anytime. Yeah. Thank yeah, you so much. No, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll we'll let y'all know and uh, and uh, if I know Laura, we'll be back out here. Yeah. And Brooke. All right, guys. Y'all take care. <laughs> Bye from SeeMyBeach.com here in the monkey habitat at Dania Beach. The Dania Beach vervet monkeys. I didn't even know what a vervet monkey was until this. <laughs> so now, a lot of people don't. It's okay. That's I, what we uh, I am, try to tell people about us. Yes, yes, awareness for sure. I am very skilled on the vervet monkey now. So excellent. Anyway, take care, guys. We'll see y'all later. Thank you. And I didn't have any real spider encounters. Only only webs. Oh, nice. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. That's because I was. But what you couldn't see on camera was uh, Aaron was walking ahead of me the whole time. Uh, <laughs> it's like, it's like, spider clear. I'm like I mean, Aaron left. Aaron right. Aaron left. <laughs> So, thank you for that, brother. You really helped me out, man. You did a good job. So that's your, that's your uh, another job you have out here. Yeah. You're the you're Rick's uh, spider clearer. I'm friends with all the spiders. All right, guys. See everybody later. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, guys.